everyone, it's me Jenny and welcome to another episode of Jenny Likes Children's Books, the weekly show where I talk about the literature that I loved as a little person. And today I'm going to be talking about what Katie did. So this book I didn't actually read until this project to reread all my children's books because the title scared me. What did Katie do? God golly, did she get in trouble? Did she get in trouble? Oh god, Katie got in trouble. <sighs> like that was my feeling. Like I, I was terrified as a child, like I was scared of the dark, I was scared of a lot of things, but the main thing I was scared of was breaking the rules and getting into trouble. So what did Katie do? Um, and you know, it's, it's got, you know, um, beginning of chapter pictures, but um, it is not very visually entertaining and it looked like a really scary read when I was little, um, and the title was really what scared me. Um, and the thing is, rereading it, or reading it for the first time as an adult, was an experience regardless of age. Um, it is a story of what Katie did, and she does get in trouble, and she does make mistakes, and she is disorganised and klutzy and absent-minded and selfish in a way that a lot of children are. Um, and, you know, I very much relate to that on some level, um, in many, many, many levels, to be honest. Um, and reading this book, after what happens with the swing and what Katie did, I was weeping for probably about that much of the book. I was weeping through it because it is, it goes through a very sharp turnaround. Um, it has, if we're talking about the hero's journey, the death and then the rebirth. Um, and it really does change the character of Katie and really does, um, you know, a lot of stuff goes wrong all at once. You have the swing and then you have the aunt and then you have all of the build up and all of the tragedy um, and then the real hero's journey towards the end where Katie learns to be an adult and she learns to, you know, put herself before others. And it's a really, really sweet story. It's full of poetry. Um, it's really, really desperately well written in that you can get into the swing of it, you can really grow with the character of Katie. Um, I love the family and how all of the characters interact and it does, anyone who's had siblings kind of knows how it feels to have this many siblings and kind of to know everyone and yet not know them. Um, and to, you know, in this book, in this case, it takes a tragic incident for Katie to really grow and understand and start looking at people without seeing them as an object and start seeing them as people and start actually putting herself um, after others and putting them first. Um, and yeah, it's just an absolutely fantastic classic book. I would 100% recommend people read it. Um, it's not for everyone. Um, there is a lot of subtext that um, may not appeal to everyone. Um, in terms of, you know, um, higher entities, um, but I think it's a brilliantly written book. Um, I think it's definitely one for younger people rather than older people. I wouldn't necessarily re recommend reading it as an, adult, uh, as an adult, although I loved reading it as an adult, um, but I think if you are an older child, um, it's definitely a very emotive story that I think helps people to see other people. Anyway, uh, that's my review for what Katie did. It's very well written, it's very funny, the story is very well told, um, it's very real to life in many, many ways, um, and the way that they interpret children and the growing process and everything is very well done, it's very, very well written. Um, anyway, there we go. Uh, thank you all for watching. Um, what's your favourite book that made you really emote as a child? Um, did you have a, a book that made you physically sad other than Harry Potter because we all cried while we were in the last book? you know it. Uh, but any other children's books that you remember reading as a child and really getting that emotional, like, your heart goes out to the characters feeling. Um, yeah, there we go. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys all next week for another episode of Jenny Likes Children's Books. Bye guys.